Shift off to one side, swing your legs out long, bend your knees, grab your invisible beach ball and slowly roll down. Give yourself a full body stretch, reaching the arms overhead. And then give your knees a hug. Lifting your feet up toward the ceiling, holding on to the outer edge, inner edge, back of your thigh for happy baby. Bring those knees down towards your armpits. Go ahead and release, give your knees a hug. Placing the soles of your feet on the mat, heels as close to your hips as you can. Bringing your hands by your side. Press into your feet, lift your hips, maybe interlace your fingers underneath your back, maybe roll your shoulders underneath, lift those hips up for bridge. Breathing. Release your hands, lower your hips back down. Give your knees a hug. So lifting your legs up for an inversion. If you have a shoulder stand in your practice and would like to do it, that's fine. I'm just going to stay with the legs lifted up, maybe holding on to the backs of the thighs. But if you have a shoulder stand, you're welcome to do it here. Inversions are very calming to the nervous system. If you're in a shoulder stand, start to come out and balance it with fish, if that's familiar to you in your practice. Everybody just bend your knees. And drop those knees to the left for a twist. Coming up through center, dropping those knees to the right for a twist. center and set yourself up for your Shavasana. Legs out long, knees bent, arms by your side, hands on your belly, arms overhead. Choose the shape you can find the stillness. Closing your eyes gently and softly. Feel your shoulders heavy on the mat. Feel your hips heavy, your legs heavy yet soft. Finding your stillness. Allowing yourself to completely surrender into relaxation, into Shavasana.
keeping your eyes closed, begin to bring your awareness back to your breath, to your body, to your practice space. Maybe wiggle fingers, maybe toes, maybe take a deep breath. What signifies the end of your Shavasana? And with your eyes closed, gently and slowly, maybe roll to one side or roll right up to a seated posture. Bringing your palms together at heart center. Bringing your thumbs in front of your forehead. May your thoughts be filled with happiness. And your thumbs in front of your lips. May your words be filled with kindness. And thumbs to your heart. And may your heart be filled with love for yourself and for others. Be so grateful for having the time, for having the ability for choosing to practice yoga today. For connecting your breath, your mind, your body. Thank yourself for showing up, for moving, for finding the stillness within for bringing your body to that state of calm, for releasing the sympathetic nervous system and bringing in the parasympathetic nervous system where our bodies truly thrive. I encourage you to return back to the practice as often as you can, especially during these times. Finding the time to slow down, to disconnect, to breathe, to move. I encourage you as well to get out and get some sunshine, get some fresh air, even if it's just sitting out on a back porch, on a front step. so truly grateful you've allowed me to guide you through your practice today and the light inside of me sees and truly honors the light inside of you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today and I truly look forward to practicing again.